Hanoi is one of the most wanted destinations in the world, rich in history, culture, and vibrant energy. We stayed one week in this awesome city and we'll show you our honest view of the best things to do. This is the most complex Hanoi travel video you'll find on YouTube, so make yourself comfortable and be prepared to deep dive in the most vibrant city of Vietnam. Hello! We have just landed to Hanoi after a one hour flight from Da Nang. Let's take our luggages and then directly to our hotel flower boutique. The flower boutique hotel. Flower boutique hotel. Uh, let's go. We are riding traditional to the center of Hanoi. There are all the luggages in the middle of the bus. Flower Boutique Hotel. Okay. The bed is nice. It's a king size. And we have a view. <laughs> the shower view. In our room. This is vintage. Some slippers, but they're not good for me. I think I need to take two of these for one foot. We have um, a continental balcony, I think it's called. The view is pretty nice. At least we have a window. I saw a lot of accommodations without a window. So it's time to fresh up a bit and go and discover beautiful Hanoi. We are walking through the old quarter of Hanoi and we are enjoying a lovely time in the capital of Vietnam. We are going to uh, deep dive into the city and we'll explore the best attractions in uh, Hanoi. So stay with us because you will see Vietnam through our eyes. Welcome to Hanoi! Coming from Hoi An and Da Nang, we almost missed this crazy traffic which we've seen also in Ho Chi Minh but uh, here it's a different level as the streets are very very narrow but uh, yeah, I think we will get used with it We have 7 days in uh, Hanoi so uh, definitely it's a must to stay with travel and tell no one Already doing shopping. People are enjoying coffee at the first floor in this immense traffic. We are now at Donkin Square. We are now going to cross the Welcome Sunlight Bridge and there we will see the Ngok Son Temple. After escaping the noise of the city center right near will be a serene lake with a lovely bridge and a temple in the middle of the lake. People are having a slower pace here, enjoying a walk and eating all kind of snacks. We are now at the morning sunlight bridge and we are enjoying a beautiful view of the lake and also the temple. Let's go inside to see what we have here. My baby has a new dress right before the temple. She needed to dress like this. Do you like it? <laughs> Not today. <laughs>
Ngoksan Temple is a prominent temple sitting on a small island. The sacred temple creates a historical complex that has been the pride of Hanoian for hundreds of years. is the biggest bronze statue here in Vietnam. He is the founder of the city and he's very appreciated here. This is Bach Ma Temple. It's in the old quarter and it's uh, really nice. We saw something similar in uh, Hoi An, but um, these have uh, a particularity that uh, only in uh, Hanoi we can find it. Look at this building, all wood. The top two noisiest cities I've ever seen are Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh, but it's a unique particularity that I would not change, that is part of the local charm. We are at St. Joseph Cathedral and it is spectacular by night. Những ngồi nhà ấy trong quá khứ cũng như trong tòa Pilato khi mà Pilato hỏi có phải ông lớn Good morning, Vietnam! <laughs> I love how it looks, the package for these coffins. Christmas market in Hanoi! I associate Christmas with cold weather, snow and warm clothes. In Vietnam, we will find exactly the opposite. It's nice to see that they keep the tradition alive. Another thing that I find captivating is the fact that there are entire families on a single scooter. I guess here is something normal, but for me, it was mind-blowing. Christmas market in Hanoi, 30 degrees today and we are preparing for Christmas. Another attraction that we've seen here that it's really popular in Hanoi to go with this jeep, military jeep. We saw plenty of them last night. We are now at Long Bien Bridge. Half is for the train and half is for the scooters and you can walk also on it. Long Bien Bridge is a historic cantilever bridge across the Red River that connects two districts, Wan Kiem and Long Bien. Temple in the middle of the town 
nobody is here we enter because we saw a big gate This temple was not in our plan to visit but we got impressed by uh, the gate and look what's inside very peaceful nobody is inside just a monk that invited us into the house wow just exited the temple and it was impressive I really loved it it was nobody just two monks that were cleaning the temple but it looked fabulous and the light that was uh, entering into the temple unbelievable we are now going to the famous train street we are having a coffee there and uh, we'll try to spot some beautiful captures of how the train passes through the cafes and the houses really really close so stay with us So basically they blocked the street with 10 minutes earlier. A lot of vloggers here. Very viral this street. This is a tourist spot. A lot, a lot of tourists. Everyone wanting to take their best picture. And this is what happens after the train passes. The road was blocked just for 10 minutes. <laughs> Look at this crowd traffic jam. So basically from this oven they were doing pottery. Hoa Lo prison was one of the biggest and highest security prisons in Indochina. Hoa Long prison was originally used by the French colonists in Indochina for political prisoners and later by North Vietnam for US prisoners of war during the Vietnam War. During this later period, it was known to Americans as the Hanoi Hilton. After that, the prison was used to incarcerate Vietnamese dissidents and other political prisoners, including the poet Nguyen Shi Tien. So, the toilets used for Prisoners. The prison was demolished during the 1990s, although the gatehouse remains a museum. The name Hoalo, commonly translated as Fearly Furnace or even Hell's Hole, the French called the prison Maison Centrale, Central House, which is still the designation of prisons for dangerous or long sentence detainees in France. It was located near Hanoi's French Quarter. The gate to freedom. This is a memorial for those who died in this prison. The memory of those who died here. We heard that also some Americans were kept here and uh, killed. At the times, luckily we are at peace right now. By 1954, it held more than 2,000 people with its inmates held in subhuman conditions. It has become a symbol of colonialist exploitation and of the bitterness of the Vietnamese towards the French. We 
we are walking to the next attraction of the day which is a literature uh, temple and we've heard that it's uh, one of the biggest attractions in uh, Hanoi so let's discover it we have some uh, walking distance at the moment but hopefully we will find also a coffee and we'll get energized and be prepared to visit best things in Hanoi. Right in front of Literature Temple, we found a pittoresque spot with a cute ancient bridge and a traditional house. It's worth giving it a short visit. We have graduation day! The temple was built in 1070 at the time of Emperor Li Tan Tong and it hosted the Imperial Academy, Vietnam's first national university, for more than 700 years. We are at the Temple of Literature and it is dated back from 1000 years ago. It was one of the first literature temples invented in Hanoi and today is a graduation for the little ones. So, it's a moment of celebration and emotion. Congrats! Congratulations! Uh, we're probably full of kids here today. <laughs> it's very noisy around us, but uh, it's also beautiful to see those beautiful kids dressed uh, in their graduation clothes. Oh, it makes me cry. I think we didn't pick the, the right day today to visit the temple because you cannot see anything except kids. The Temple of Literature is a must-see destination for anyone interested in Vietnam's rich history and culture. Whether you're a history buff, a student of literature or just a curious travel, you're sure to find something fascinating and inspiring at this ancient and beautiful site. The literature temple was uh, founded uh, for Confucius and it should be called Confucius temple actually and whenever you're in uh, Vietnam you will spot this temple everywhere in your pockets meaning on the 100k uh, bill basically this is Ho Chi Minh and here you will spot this uh, temple of literature Laura, my name is Lin and oh. <laughs> I so uh, what's your name? Adrian. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> YouTubing, oh. blogging. YouTubing. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. How many places in Vietnam have you visited? So from Ho Chi Minh to Da Nang and now to Hanoi. And we come, we came from the south to the north. The temple layout is similar to that of the temple of Khufu, Shandong, Confucius' birthplace. An entire day we walked through Hanoi and what I wanted to say is that it's really pleasant, uh, the weather is perfect. We had about 29 degrees Celsius but the humidity is low and we could visit the city by walking all day. So it was really pleasant and we enjoyed it. Comparing to Ho Chi Minh where it was super super hot and in uh, Hoi An, where it was uh, a bit cold and a lot of rain, perfect weather, perfect conditions for visiting. So we walked a lot today, I think we already have around 16k of uh, steps and it's only 5pm. <laughs> we still have uh, some things to visit, so I think it's gonna be a long day with lots of steps. Maybe we will hit the record this time. I think our record it's around 27k or yeah. something like that. 30k or 30k something. maximum. Let's see what can we do today. 
far away we can see Hoshimin uh, Mausoleum but we couldn't enter today due to improper dressing I was blamed to be too sexy, too sexy Ho Chi Minh is one of the most important public figures you will ever hear in Vietnam. You will see him everywhere, even on all banknotes. So they also venerate him and create this huge mausoleum with this impressive square. You will be able to enter inside the mausoleum in the mornings and be sure to not be here on Mondays because it will be closed. You will need to be fully covered with a proper dressing code. There are a lot of lakes in Hanoi and uh, you can easily enjoy a uh, walk on the promenade and uh, also see this uh, great view of the lake. We are enjoying the sunset and uh, people are walking, are running here and enjoying some drinks and pretty chill vibes in Hanoi today in a Saturday night. Tonight we have a special date. We go to Water Puppet Show to Tang Long. We cannot wait to see how it is because we heard that it's very beautiful. The price was around four dollars, 100k Vietnamese dong. We are going to the puppet theater show. The show lasts about 50 minutes, so let's go and see how it is. Kiem Walking Street is part of Hanoi Tourist Development Program. Every week from 7 p.m. Friday to 12 a.m. Sunday, all kinds of vehicles are prohibited from the streets around Ho Kiem Lake, leaving the entire space for pedestrians. All around all quarter you will see these kind of paintings. They are murals on the wall and they feel so real. Oh my god, they are so real. It looks like you were teleported in old Hanoi. It's our second day when we come to Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum. Yesterday we were not properly dressed, so be sure to have uh, hands and knees covered because they are very strict and you will not enter in this uh, big square of uh, Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum. So uh, now we will go to security check and try the second time to enter uh, this uh, square but what I wanted to share with you also, nearby it's the presidential palace and you're not allowed to film near, and, um, but the building is incredible. Here is presidential palace. We are not allowed to take photos or videos, but we are pretty far away from it. So hopefully we will get away with it. Let's see if we will be able to enter in the mausoleum. Uh, yesterday we were not properly dressed, uh, but today we have a long dress. And uh, yes, I think today outfit is good. Let's see. 
let's see if I pass the outfit check. <laughs> yes, yesterday the soldier that was standing uh, near Mausoleum said, too sexy, too sexy, no enter. So uh, indeed, Laura is very sexy all the time. <laughs> yesterday we had 30,000 steps, incredible. I think this is our record. Yes, and Hanoi is walkable. You can walk from point A to point B easily and they are pretty close actually. At most 30 minutes by walk, but we enjoy walking and uh, as we said, the weather is perfect to do that. Our hotel is near Old Parker, so I think we are in the perfect place to walk around the city. So at this time we need to go around the mausoleum because the other entrance uh, was not um, a, a full entrance for the people. We just exited the mausoleum and it was pretty impressive as we saw Ho Chi Minh standing there in a freezer, I suppose. We didn't expect this, we expected to see a tomb or something. But we just walked through the Ho Chi Minh body and we exited fast. They are pretty strict, so uh, I even left my camera and microphone uh, outside in a box. So uh, be mindful that they are uh, very, very strict. It was really impressive. I think it was more than we have expected. And there were like soldiers everywhere and everything is very, very strict and you need to follow their rules. Yes, I think they were like eight soldiers guarding and some of them were uh, waving you outside just yeah. to not block the way. You're not allowed to stay, it's just like passing through like one minute or maybe less than one minute and that's it. We didn't expect to meet Ho Chi Minh in real flesh and body. This is one pillar pagoda. You'll find the Enhu Temple right near One Pillar Pagoda and Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum. In the center of the courtyard at Shua Dien Hu Pagoda is a statue of Huan Am, whose image is represented in many religious sites in Vietnam. We are now at Ho Chi Minh Museum and we wanted to visit but it seems they have a lounge break so you're not allowed to buy your tickets between 12 and 2 p.m. So be careful when you choose coming here that you cannot visit during those hours. The Imperial Citadel of Tang Long is a complex of historic buildings associating with the history of Vietnam located in the center of Hanoi. Another graduation! Congrats! I miss being in high school. <laughs> Many graduations. These are big kids. We are over there. We need to pass through this citadel. Archaeological site at Duan Mo. Its construction began in 1010 and was completed in early 1011 under the reign of Emperor Li Tai To. This citadel has more than 1000 years. What a big square! This historical site served as the political center of Vietnam for over a thousand years and it showcases the rich cultural heritage and architectural brilliance of the country. The entrance fee of this historical site is just 30,000 Vietnamese dong, around 1.3 dollars. 
So basically here we can see how Vietnamese were living 1,000 years ago. This place is on World Heritage list, so it's something really special. Everyone takes photos in this imperial heritage place. Everyone. The parliament has 8 floors, 80 meeting rooms, with around 1,000 seats. This park, formerly known as Lenin Park, is a lovely place to escape the bustle of the old quarter and see what the locals do in their downtime. Vietnam National Fine Arts Museum is one of the nation's most important institutions, where it displays documents, artifacts and typical works dating from every era of national life. From early prehistory and classical antiquity through the epic story of Vietnamese creating genius in the modern age. One great fact you need to know is that you can withdraw money from WP Bank without any fees. We extracted the same amount from two banks and basically uh, for, from one it uh, took us 50k Vietnamese dong, around two dollars and from WP Bank didn't take any money. It's too bad that we found uh, this at the, the end of our stay but you can use uh, this advice. Better late than never, right? Li Kuok Su Pagoda is one of the oldest temples in Hanoi. This nearly 900 years old Vietnamese style temple has preserved many precious antiques like for example a rare Buddha statue. We love the vibes of the city, everyone was either dancing, walking or eating something. You'll find plenty of street food and you'll find even more food in my Eat Like a Tourist video about Hanoi. Go check it out but after this video. Yeah. We are a bit nostalgic yeah. that we need to leave. 
here home and there are minus 4 degrees home and now I stay like this here in Hanoi. Yeah, today is a little bit cloudy but it's still hot, like 24 or 25 degrees. So it's still pretty good. I just can't believe how two weeks and a half have passed really, really, really fast and we did so many things in Vietnam and we cannot wait to show you what we did here and what an adventure we had together definitely will come back as soon as possible <laughs> and we felt in love with Vietnam and we have so many memories here I've met so many beautiful people actually we were told that they are not really friendly but all over Vietnam we went and we met uh, just well, nice people, kind. Although they do not speak to uh, good English or at all, but uh, yeah, the smile is international, so you can feel a good uh, person. So yeah, it's nice, perfect. I think I will miss the, the background noise, <laughs> like everyone is warning or in a hurry here. Yeah. I think we are gonna miss everything about Vietnam. But for sure we'll come back. Yep. We will. We, we still have a lot. A lot. Yeah, I think like two weeks and a half was, wasn't enough to visit everything because they have so many beautiful places here. And you need to spend, I think, at least three weeks or maybe one month to see everything. It's very beautiful. Every Everywhere you look is beautiful. And a big country actually so you need to take flights or maybe overnight buses because you cannot go uh, with something else yep so we put it back on our list right yeah until next one travel and tell no one